Hello everyone to another short episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Today's episode was prompted by a discussion I've had with one priest. Uh, we were discussing uh, Seraphim Rose and how he was gay, and how some of his fans deny this fact. I don't know why, I assume that is because they assume that people will think less of him if they knew that it was his sexual orientation. So the priest said that uh, in the Orthodox Church, people are usually uh, uh, are usually very afraid to speak of the gay. Um, but I replied that the problem is much bigger than that, because if we censor the uh, the sinful lives of our saints, then we don't have true models for our own sanctity, and that in the same vein we can whitewash the the lives of any other saint. So. Without much further ado, I am giving to you the whitewashed life of St. Mary of Egypt. St. Mary of Egypt lived in the 4th century. Her parents gave her the name Mary, for they said, Let us give her the name of the holiest woman who has ever lived, the chaste one, the, the virgin and the mother. What's the worst thing that can possibly happen? So, when she grew up, St. Mary became, a, a, well, an entertainer. I'm an entertainer! So, one day, St. Mary decided to, uh, decided to go on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem and to worship in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. However, as she came to the church, she suddenly realized that she wanted to devote her entire life to God. That day she became a saint. So she decided to move to the desert. And after four days she said, This is boring! And after a couple of days she died. <laughs> a couple of days later, the elder of the nearby monastery, Elder Zosimus, came. And she, he stumbled upon her body. <gasps> No! So, he decided to give her a proper Christian burial, but as he was about to bury her, he saw a mysterious writing in the sand next to her grave. What that writing said, he never realized, and it was revealed to him by an angel that it was not meant for him to understand, and that the Lord clouded the eye of his mind. And that, the, and that only the future generations will understand the prudence of that writ in the sand. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year.